I'm David Castillo. And I'm Hannah. And, and welcome, welcome to, to Dub CTV. TV. We're glad you're back. Sorry for the long break. Wait, why are we anchors now? Because, why not? Lazy writing, but fair. Speaking of which, do you know a movie that has lazy writing? <laughs> the movie I'm going to be reviewing today. Yep. Here's David with the film review, Madam Web. Madam Web. <sighs> it was definitely a movie. The writing was written. The acting was acted, I think. I genuinely have nothing good to say about this movie as it literally gave us nothing but advertised Pepsi throughout all of it. No character development, a lot of running, land dialogue, and zero, zero effort into making this movie. If you planned on watching it for Dakota Johnson or Sydney Sweeney, I hate to tell you, but they did a bad job at trying to save the mess they were given. Some of the dialogue didn't even seem real enough that Chad GP team can make more realistic dialogue. The villain seemed more like an inconvenience rather than an actual villain. There's no real motive besides him killing them because he saw himself killed by them in a dream. There are some aspects of the movie I did like. The main character's visions were like deja vu moments and it purposely made you a bit confused with the main character while watching it. The spider women suits were so good, except for the fact we only get to see them for like 15 seconds throughout the entire movie. Overall, I give Madam Web a square root of negative five out of 10. Ugh, why are these dresses so expensive? What are you looking for? I'm trying to find a dress, but I don't have enough money to afford one. Well, why don't you go to Project Fairy Tale? What's that? I don't know. Let's ask Ms. Gonzalez. My name is Georgina Gonzalez. Project Fairy Tale is an initiative um, that uh, started a few years back. Uh, we wanted, I know that uh, we have a lot of, students have a lot of end of the year celebrations and we wanted to alleviate some of the stresses of having to worry about uh, buying, uh, purchasing multiple uh, dresses or suits because I know that they have prom, they have um, uh, SUMA, they have different award ceremonies. So we wanted to alleviate some of the, of the stresses, the cost, and, and help out uh, in this way students and, and, and their families. Um, we have uh, suits and dresses and shoes and accessories, and so it's open to girls and boys. All the dresses and the suits and all the stuff that we have here for students, uh, it has no cost. Uh, it, it's free for you guys, and it has been donated by different people, community members, uh, staff members, even principals have helped out with this with this amazing event. Uh, but uh, church students can come during the day, even in, like during their lunch time or after school or even before school if they're still needing something. We have received about 300 dresses, three to 400 dresses, and we have been able to help about 60 students and each student was able to take um, the girls were able to take two, uh, two or three dresses if they had multiple events. Project Fairy Tale is for all high school students in the district. Uh, let us help you find your dream dress for your end of the year celebrations at no cost. El proyecto Cuento de Hadas está abierto para todos los estudiantes de high school que están a punto de graduarse y que van a atender diferentes uh, celebraciones al final del año. Por favor, déjanos ayudarte a conseguir el traje y el vestido de tus sueños. I might have to go now. Hey, did you hear about the total solar eclipse happening? Really? When is it? Oh, well, let's find out with Josh. The Great North American Eclipse will take place on April 8th. We are lucky to be in San Antonio. Our city is on the path of a total solar eclipse. We will get less than a minute of total and complete darkness. However, partial parts of the eclipse will be seen from 12.15 p.m. to 2.50 p.m. As you can see in this animation, half of San Antonio will go dim for about 45 seconds, but much longer towards Kerrville. They will be darker for over 4 minutes. Can you believe that the next time we will see another similar eclipse in the US, we will all be in our late 30s in August 12, 2045, but will mainly be visible around Florida. 
Churchill will have special plans and solar glasses for everyone during the eclipse. Stay tuned for more details. Hey Chargers, this is a quick reminder that Churchill is in the middle of a competition to raise the most monetary proceeds to donate to the San Antonio Food Bank. Uh, the deadline is by April 1st. Right now, Parliament and the community has raised nearly $400, and $1 equals 10 pounds of food given to families in need. Uh, here at Churchill, we care, we create, and we compete, and this is how we're showing how we ca care and compete. So please, you can find this QR code on the morning announcements, or you can ask Miguel and myself, we will provide this QR code. All contributions must be no donated through this QR code. Uh, Thanks. Remember, the deadline's April 1st. Thanks, Emmerich. Now let's hear some sports from Ty Webb. Hi, I'm Ty Webb. This is a Dub CTV sports update on baseball, track, softball, and more. Our baseball team had a huge victory against Reagan recently, and I had a chance to talk to Eric Moore about that victory. And I'm here with? Eric Moore. <laughs> and what sport do you play, Eric? I play baseball. What position? I'm a shortstop. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And I know you played uh, Reagan last Tuesday. How do you feel about that big upset? It's a big upset. JD led us to the victory. Mm -hmm. It's a long time coming. Long time coming to beat Reagan, and we needed that. So Awesome. And I know you play Madison tonight. How do you feel about that? <sighs> big game. Second half of the uh, the season, pretty much. And we got to just keep on winning, running like a diesel. Awesome. That's Eric. Other victories were at NEISD Invitational Track Meet at Heroes. Let's go to Ollie for more on that. Now we're here with? Ty Webb. Okay, Ty. How do you feel about this track season? Uh, I feel pretty good. I had a uh, big PR this year. Um, a couple meets ago, I jumped a 23-foot uh, long jump, so I, I feel pretty good about that. Um, I know we have Texas Relays tomorrow, so I'll be gone for that, but I feel really good about it. How do you think the whole Churchill team is doing? How do you think uh, how they're doing as a team? I think we're doing pretty good. You know, there's always room for improvement, and I feel like there's always room for us to get better. Um, we just got to come together as a team and, you know, really just work out hard, you know? Now, what's your favorite track event? Probably long jump. I really do enjoy long jump or the uh, four by one. That's like, that's like our favorites right now. All right, and that's it. Our softball, tennis, and golf team are in full swing. Make sure you guys go out and support. Now back to you guys. Thanks, Ty. Well, that's the end of our show. Don't forget, if you have any segment ideas or just want to be in the crew, swing by to Miss Morris's room in 9100. Don't forget, prom is around the corner for juniors and seniors. Tickets are available to purchase using this QR code. That's it for this week's WCTV. See you in two weeks. Bye. Bye.